Today, we're gonna try to destroy this bench made. Let's light it up. So, today we're back at it with another Will It Cut. And we haven't done one of these in a while. We're really excited to do another one. Today's is gonna be on the Benchmade Anonymous. CPM Crew Wear on the Blade Steel. First, what we're gonna do though, and this is gonna be a first for our Will It Cut series, is we're gonna use our brand new edge tester. So what this device does, it's not highly technical, but what it does is it measures the amount of pressure that it takes to cut through a specific media. And the company has done us the honor of, you know, going through and giving us a graph based on their testing of where certain types of knives should fall and, you know, what really denotes if it needs to be resharpened, if it needs to be honed, that kind of thing. So, for example, um, I've actually got my Spyderco um, on me, Maximet, uh, pair of three, and uh, this one tested at a 190 earlier. So um, we're going to test this Benchmade right here. This is straight out of the box. Has not been used. I just zeroed out our meter, so we're going to put it on there and see where this one tests out before we get started with our Will It Cut test. So we're going to set it right down in there on the fulcrum, start applying pressure. And oh wow, 135. That's uh, that's pretty impressive right there. That is actually in like double edge razor range. So really good edge on that out of the box. Now we're gonna see if we can do our best to ruin it. Since you guys are always worried about me having eye protection, I'll give you guys a little bit of a hint. Something that we've got coming very soon. I think we're ready. Red set. We're gonna start off our Willy Cut with some simple rubber mat. I assure you, it will cut. Nice. That was that was pretty sweet right there. That was that was pretty daggum sweet. Let me see if I can. Oh, 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 oh. I like it. Next, we're gonna do linoleum. Oh, he shop. Next, we're doing carpet. So with the carpet, I'm always kind of torn. Hmm, no pun intended, because we're cutting. Um, but should I go like with the grain or against? Maybe we should do both. Maybe I'm gonna do one with, like this. <laughs> Get that out of my way. Now we're gonna go against it. See if it does just as good. Jeez, <laughs> that's insane. Next! I've got uh, some really uh, tough nautical, like synthetic nautical rope here. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hold it in place. I'm gonna saw through it. And then we're actually gonna take it and hammer through this as well. So. Not bad. Cutting through it pretty easy right there. All right. We got through that nautical rope pretty easy. Now we're gonna hammer down through this right here. All right, I, uh, I like it. Next! Now we're gonna do toe strap. Toe strap. So this is always an interesting test. Um, I like to fold the toe strap over and get it nice and close to my body. That way I can get a nice good pull cut, pulling right through that toe strap and uh, see if we can get it in uh, one pass. So I doubt we can, but we'll just give it a shot. Oh, oh, it zipped right through there. That's insane. Next. Now we've got garden hose. I like to do the same thing with the garden hose that I did with the toe strap there. Bend it over, get a nice, good, solid purchase on that right there, and then just pull it through. Oh my gosh. 
This thing is zipping through everything. This is the first crew wear blade we've done so far, so. Now we've got PVC pipe. All right, here we go. Nice. Next. Oh yeah. Let's do some bamboo. Bamboo can be pretty tough sometimes. Usually it doesn't put too much of a fight when just hammering it through, so yeah. Not bad at all. It, and that was a really nice clean cut through that bamboo too. Look right there. Really nice clean cut. So, Put the I'm gonna have to hack through this. And this is gonna be a tough one, mainly because of how thin and lightweight this blade is. It's easier, like we did that uh, Topps TP Parang and that was really easy to chop through this. But this is not a chopper by any means. It, it doesn't have a lot of weight to it. Um, it's really lightweight, so it's going to have a hard time with this, but uh, we'll see how she does. Oh, that, that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. That's, that's pretty insane right there. Um, yeah, that's that's really impressive, especially given how lightweight this blade is. I really dig that. So the, we got a piece of uh, red oak right here. We're gonna do a little bit of feather sticking on this corner right here. That's not too bad right there. That's pretty good. Yeah. I mean, it's slicing through it pretty good. Um, angle's a little tough, but not bad at all. Next! So we've got some electrical wire here. We've got single and we've got uh, multi cable right there. So we're going to just uh, hack through this copper wire here. First, the single. Done. Next, the three wire. Done. Next! Okay, so now we're on to our. Excuse me. Now we're on to our steel cable. And this is where, with our Willet cut test, the rubber meets the road. I mean, everything that we've cut up till now, you kind of expect a knife to be able to cut. You expect it to be able to cut wood. You expect it to be able to cut rubber hose. You expect it to be able to cut carpet and stuff like that. But now we're talking about actual steel braided cable. And um, this is stuff that you're not supposed to cut with a knife. Um, so this is where the test gets tough and we start actually putting some scars in these blade edges. So here we go with this first one. This is gonna be uh, like a 75 pound cable right here. Oh, that's insane. We've had a couple of knives go through that first cable um, really that easy the first time, but not many go through it that easy. That's, that's, that's pretty ridiculous. So let's get this second piece of cable undone. This is going to be around a hundred pound cable test. Okay. Wow. So the second piece of cable done right there. And, uh, it doesn't look like we've hurt that blade edge hardly at all. That, that is insane right there. Look at that. Like, oh my gosh. That's th that thing still looks new. This is ridiculous. All right, now the really tough test, and this is the really thick heavy duty cable. This is gonna be somewhere around 170 to 200 pound cable right here. Um, I would say, judging by the way this feels, it would hold a lot more than that, but um, that that's just me guessing. So, this is some pretty heavy duty cable right here. And this is where it gets really hard for a lot of these knives. What ends up happening is the cable and the knife end up cutting down into the cutting board. And I want to get that same spot, but just flip it over a little bit right there. Now we're going to... I'm trying to also keep the cable from running away on me. You know, I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I think that's 
one of the easiest, if not the easiest, we've ever gotten through that cable. That's pretty impressive. Like, one of the other easiest was the tour that we did, the Field 2.0, um, and it did uh, it did pretty insane. Um, the Reef did really good as well. Um, but let's take a look at that blade edge right there. We have scarred it up a little bit now. Um, you can see some uh, dings right in there, right in there. Um, so you can actually see some dings in that uh, in that edge right there now because of that cable. Next! Now we're going to take some uh, sheet metal and cut through it. <laughs> we did, our, our sheet metal's been through a lot here. You know, we've... We've cut a lot of sheet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Ready? There's a good spot. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's a thing of beauty right there. <clears throat> that is something that we have never actually done with a knife right there. And, uh, I mean, we've definitely scarred up this blade, but not as bad as you would think. Let's let's take a good close look at that edge right there. That's uh, that's pretty impressive. Pretty daggum impressive. Next. <laughs> and that's a brick. All right. We ready? <laughs> e cut brick. This is insane. Now we have definitely scarred up this edge, but honestly, like we haven't scarred this up nearly as much as we have some of the others. I just actually got some of my gloves stuck in it where we've got it rolled right there, but uh, that's really impressive. You can see some nicks right there, but uh, I can honestly say, I bet you I can get this thing pretty sharp uh, within a couple of hours. Um, just got a couple of rolled edges, a couple of nicks we need to reprofile, but uh, overall, that's pretty daggum impressive right there. So last, we're gonna do just a quick tip test. This is not something you should ever do to any of your knives. So we're gonna do it. We're just gonna stab it in there, bend it, Nice. Nice. That's, I mean, did not bend, but just a little bit. Just looks like it's just a hair off, but not much. So now we've done everything to this. And uh, I mean, we've went through a brick. We went through all of this stuff. Uh, even done our tip test. Now we want to go back and see what this thing actually registers at um, on the edge tester now after going through all of that. So we'll see what she does. And now we're going, we're cutting right through the same area that we cut through before with all of the, all the stuff in the Willet cut here. I think that is the worst that we've ever tested one now. That one's up to 1320. So it, that means it took 1,320 grams of force to actually cut through that test media. Whereas when it started, it only took 130. So um, that's, I mean, had one of the most impressive edges at the beginning, um, one of the least impressive edges at the end. Just showing 
what we just did to this knife in a short period of time and it performed amazing. So let us know what you thought about this knife in the comments down below. I think this thing did a phenomenal job and uh, I mean the crew wear held up superbly. Uh, one of the best blade steels we've ever tested with our Willet Cut. So uh, I really dig it. I think it's awesome. Folks, as always, it's been me, TC, here with Smoky Mountain Knife Works, smkw.com. And remember, if it cuts like a Benchmade Anonymous with crew wear in our Will It Cut test, then we carry it.